Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and having a lovely week so far. I've done a little vlog for you here where I'm showing you Arlo's birthday weekend. I cannot believe that he is now two. It is absolutely crazy. But what I thought I'd do is just pick up the camera, show you like all of our preparations, us going shopping and stuff, and also his actual birthday weekend and little snippets from it so I'd really love for you guys to stay and watch if that's something you're interested in I also give some second birthday recommendations for toys so I'm starting off here by blowing up his balloons I just got these from Wilco just a cheap pack of balloons and last year I was really like into the aesthetic jungle safari birthday vibe that has gone completely out the window let me tell you it is Paw Patrol colors everywhere and I wouldn't have it any other way because I know that's exactly what Arlo wants. I'm using my electric balloon pump from Amazon which is a game changer and just saves so much time and energy when you have to blow things up and I just keep it under my bed until I need it. So we are on our way to Smith's Toy Store today. It's Arlo's birthday tomorrow is going to be two and today we've got like a little party at my mum's house and then tomorrow we're having a party with like Mikey's family and yeah we just need to go and get like the rest of his presents today we've got one thing so far which is his slide but we're gonna have a little mooch around this toy store and see if there's anything else we can find um, but yeah I don't want like loads of presents for him I think I just maybe get like one or two more things because he's just got so much we need to actually go find a barbecue because our barbecue has died I just also feel like really emotional because obviously like this time two years ago we were well I was in in a hospital I was there for I think about a week before I went into labor because I had high blood pressure and also had my cholestasis pregnancy and stuff so yeah I had to be monitored in a hospital but yeah I can't believe it two years ago I'm still not recovered to be honest <laughs> But yeah, I feel like as well, when you have your child's birthday, it is obviously all about your child and everything, but then you, you sort of forget that you went through it all too, and like went through so much for the birth. So oh, yeah, it's really emotional. I just can't believe he's gonna be too, but I'm gonna go to the toy store now and I will let you know what I find. How do you feel about Arlo's birthday coming up? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Are you? Yeah, 100%. We're trying to be really nice to each other today because we're, we've not been getting along very well the last few days, well, the last few months really. <laughs> but we're trying to trying to get along a little bit better. Um, so we're going to be sickly sweet to each other today, aren't we? Babe. <laughs> Oh my word, that was amazing in there. That is literally like heaven for children. I've never been in there before, have you Mikey? Uh, once or twice. Oh, have you? It's like literally like a Toys R Us. It's the only way I can describe it, but it's got so many toys. It had like loads of like cars and bikes and everything like that. And then it also had dinosaurs and lots of dolls, like literally every single toy you can imagine. And it had outdoor stuff as well. So we picked up um, a few bits for him. We picked up like a new, is it a trike? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a low down, sit on, like, it's not a balance bike, it's like a trike where he can sit on it and just um, like go to nursery on it and stuff because we do have one which is really, really pretty. Like we got sent it from a company, um, but it's like one of those Banwood trikes which has got the little wicker basket at the front and stuff. And it's so pretty, but it's really big and clunky and um, just quite hard to, for him to like navigate because it's really heavy so we just wanted to get like a really light and airy one and the one we got is excellent as well for like space saving because it folds down as well which will be really good because obviously we live in like quite a small house so we could just fold it down put it in the cupboard when we're not using it um, or put it in the boot so we love that we also got some other things like we got a dinosaur that makes a sound that looks quite realistic 
Oh my god, it's hot in here. I'm just gonna open the window. Um, got a dinosaur that makes a sound, and we also got what was it? Like a JC? What was it? JCB, like a set of trucks um, and like tractors, wasn't it? Yeah, and I'll show you guys later when we um, come to like wrap everything and stuff. But it was really good, and I'll go through the prices and stuff then. We are now on our way to Milton Keynes Shopping Centre because we're gonna go pick up a uh, Paw Patrol blow up balloon. Oh, that's all the presents. And um, we're gonna go pick up a Paw Patrol blow up balloon, and also gonna get him a card. And I want to try and find as well a dressing gown for him so i'm gonna see if i can find one because i think it would be nice for him to have one he had one when he was first born that he didn't really wear but now i think he's at the age where i think he'd like one so yeah i'm gonna go do that now and i'll catch you guys in a bit but anyway it's okay i hope you have a good day i'm gonna see you about it 50 then i tell him you treat me so well he said cash out for sale so after Mikey was very rudely criticizing my wrapping, we arrived at my nan's house and we've got like a little dinosaur theme going on for this birthday party. This is my nan's house, by the way. My nan and granddad do struggle to get around and get to our house. So it's really nice to be able to go over there and just spend time together because it just hardly ever happens. So we had such a lovely day, honestly, one of the best days so far. And then when we came home, we got everything ready to set up for Arlo's birthday morning. So we did all the wrapping, got everything arranged and tried to get as much preparations done for like the next day so we didn't have to stress so much. So here I am setting up his little play corner which is part of the living room and just putting his presents, putting his balloons and stuff all in there ready for him to wake up to. And I'm just getting the garden ready as well. So my plan is to set up like the sofa area. It's not how I wanted it exactly. I wanted to get like the garden makeover done beforehand, but I just didn't have time. So it will have to do and it will still be lovely, but we're just setting up the cushions and everything and also getting all of Arlo's toys out as well. And I bought this new rug as well from Homebase. It was 20 pounds and I wanted to save it for the garden makeover, but I'm just gonna put it down anyway and also put the little canopy thing that we've got just to make it a bit more cozy for his special day. So I'm just gonna run through quickly what we've got for him before we wrap it. So we've got the slide. This one I got, I found the cheapest one in Vary. So I ordered it um, and I'll put the price up as well of what I paid for it, but it's the little tykes slide what i love about it as well is that it can fold up so you could just fold it up put it in the garage or maybe put it in that cupboard over there when we're not using it so i love that then the next thing we got is this we wanted something that was really compact and lightweight easy for arlo to just ride on it's a one to three years easy to fold and carry like if we're going in a cafe or get on a bus or wherever we're going so yeah I think he's gonna absolutely love that. I think he's used one of those at his toddler groups before. So I've got that one. And then what else do we buy? I bought like a little ball, which I think he'll love because it looks like a proper, a proper football. So we got that. We got the JCB set, which <laughs> looks amazing to be honest. Um, and I think it makes sounds. Oh, it's really loud. Oh my God. Okay, I don't want to wake him up. Um, so yeah, hopefully that has an off button. Well, that's gonna be really irritating. But it comes with all of those different vehicles, like all those different JCBs. So I think he will absolutely love that when he opens it. And then we've got two other things. One was the little pens. The last thing is this Triceratops. Out of all the dinosaurs, I just, I don't know, I always love the Triceratops the most. So this is the Jurassic World collection and yeah, it makes sounds and stuff. So that looks really cool. Shakes its head as well. So I think he will love that. And opening that all up tomorrow, he's just gonna be over the moon. Obviously he's got so many other presents as well. Like we've got a bag full of presents in here from like um, my mum. He's gonna get presents from other people as well. So yeah, he's getting so many, so much. Um, and he got like, I'll show you tomorrow properly, but he got like a little lawnmower and stuff from my dad. And I've just tried to set things up outside. It's really dark, so you're not gonna be able to see. But I've tried to set things up outside 
for tomorrow. I will show you all properly tomorrow when it's lighter. Um, he got that today from my mum, this little water play thing. So we're just gonna wrap this stuff up now. And yeah, it's like 10 o'clock already. So we're exhausted. Um, but yeah, his little party set up tomorrow. I hope he's gonna like it. So I got Arlo's balloons here from the card factory. It came to like 22 pounds for all three together. And we've obviously got the slide, which is from Berry. You can get it in loads of places, but it was the cheapest on berry.com. And then we got all the other toys that I've just shown you. So I'm really excited to see his face when he wakes up. And it is now the next day, got all the food set up and everything ready for people to come round. And I'm not gonna lie, I get really anxious around like lots of people. And especially when they come into my house, I ended up like, mopping the floor loads and just like trying to clean everything and just I always get really worried about what people think even though people probably don't even care. I've also taken Arlo's little flissat table outside and I put some water in the tubs and just put some other little toys in there like buckets and fidget spinners just to make it a bit more fun and interactive because it's such a lovely day and it is so hot. Arlo had such a lovely day and it actually seems like he's turned a corner in terms of his like, behavior and stuff. And I think it's because he's getting a bit older. And I have noticed that the last two weeks since we got back from holiday, his behavior's got quite a lot better. So I was really, really happy with how the day went. And Arlo absolutely loved it and having like his family around and then seeing my family the day before. So it was amazing. So yeah, we had such a lovely day. And this leads me on to letting you know about my next project that I'm working on, which is painting this brick wall, because look how disgusting it is. And and I've finished it already and let me tell you guys it is amazing here's a little sneak peek but stay tuned for next week's vlog where I'm going to show you the whole process of how to do a budget garden makeover I've been lying here for too long I don't know what else to do I want to get away from every little thing